morning, it is I, Matthew James, again. It's been a while since I've spoken to you folks. It's been a while since I've had you uh, a witness to one of my uh, wacky videos. But this is Matthew James. It is as I, just in case you don't recognise me, with the, uh, the short hair and the mitts on. It is minus three degrees at the moment here in Canberra. And, and I'm at the Jerry Bambara uh, wetlands. I've not been here since May. And I thought I would have a wander down and see what's uh, going on down here. Plus get a side of exercise. A good thing, and it gets the blood pumping, etc, etc. There's a slight problem with that, everybody. What happens if this body that uh, I'm looking after isn't real? What happens if this is indeed a dream world? What happens if... Uh, you are watching me from a dream world. I mean, that's the that's the take that I keep um, talking about. The angle I keep take, going, taking you guys down. Uh, this being a holographic reality. Um, I've been watching, or I was watching a video by a good friend of mine, David Ike, and he was talking about uh, Saturn is not what uh, it appears to be. It's a fantastic video. If you see it on YouTube. Saturn is not what it appears to be. It's actually on my blog, A Light in the Darkness. It's about 57 minutes. It's worth every minute to watch. He does explain what Saturn is. Science has found that there is a very strong sound vibration coming off Saturn. It's quite interesting, but it does seem to explain that uh, our thoughts have been hijacked. That this is a, uh, a fake reality so really anything and everything we do on this world we have to question if uh, it's really worth doing it is it does it does it count for anything being in a fake world being a, a food source an available food source for a predator a predator consciousness that uses our fear to feed to create this world we're in the engine room of other dimensions um, and you've got a question that does it really matter about spirituality? Does it really matter about how we, we, we interact with each other or learning lessons? Is this all part and parcel of this illusion? Is it all part and parcel of the bullshit? All these things, all these perceptions that we're, we're brought up with and we develop, is it worth it? Is any of this really worth it? We don't really know. Nobody really knows. We're on blind faith with everything that we do. So what, what's the point of it all? Why, why really bother? Why really stress? Why really worry? Why really go through all these emotions when you're actually feeding, sorry, you're being fed by a predator consciousness that is feeding you all these perceptions through the so-called DNA. It's making you react so it can feed off you. So what's the point? What's the point? Why don't we just literally go, oh, sod this and do what the hell what we want? Because we are just little more than sheep in a fold being picked off one by one. I, I'm beginning to question <clears throat> where we go when we die. I mean, there's a dimension, all right, but are we really here in the first place? <clears throat> do we really die? Do we just, is this just... Is this just a virtual reality? I'm asking all these questions um, because it's just interesting when you actually get on this uh, plane of thought and you start working with these questions and you start putting your consciousness under a little bit of strain, the, I call it the archonic force um, that is controlling this particular world, this dimension, seemingly can't handle it. They can't handle questions, can't handle handle all this because we're supposed to be subservient we're supposed to be non-questioning we're supposed to be dumbed down we're supposed to be non-intelligent life form um, that it can feed off so uh, us questioning everything us breaking through the so-called illusions and the so-called fake perceptions and the perception deception that's going on um, at the moment in the world I mean, I just heard on the news that there's been another police uh, sh um, shooting in Baton Rouge in the States. That was the latest news this morning. And 
again it's to reinforce this that the Americans have to do something about the gun law. They have to do something about it. Well, yeah, this is hammering on the perception, all right, but I question what is behind all these attacks. It's the same force that's doing it with the same intention. It's trying to change um, the Americans' viewpoint on guns. It wants everybody to surrender their guns, basically. So it can then have a population that is rendered defenceless. So when Agenda 21 comes in, they can raid the homes of all the Americans. They can take all the Americans' freedoms away and the Americans have nothing to defend themselves with because they've no guns anymore. That is it in the long run. That is Agenda 21. It's to do with this uh, perception that's being put out there of depopulating the planet. Now they're relying on us to spread that um, deception the relying us to put that uh, conspiracy out so the more people think it the more people perceive it the more that reality is being created and this is how they work they are amongst the conspiracy theorists as well and they love conspiracy they love conspiracy theories because you we're doing their work for them we're doing, we're doing all the hard work, we're doing all the hard yarns by uh, basically perceiving the damn things, the things that we think, you have enough people thinking it, it becomes real. And that is what they are relying on. They do, they love conspiracy theory, they love opposing viewpoints, they love all this bullshit um, because that is how this reality is created through perceptions and and uh, enough perceptions and you get a, a solid thought form and it manifests um, I'm gonna come back shortly I just want you guys to think about that uh, particular concept bye so for I now stress that you must be careful what you think um, that your thoughts are being hijacked your perceptions are being hijacked every single minute of the day that's uh, that's the truth that's the reality that you are in um, we are being made to think in certain ways because if you think in certain ways long enough uh, that becomes your reality and uh, you do that on a collective level on an egregore level and you create a archetypal thought or an archetypal way of thinking it becomes a reality that for generations to come that's how people think and people act and that's what they're basically doing. They are, and they are the Archons. The Archons are an Archonic force, are a predator force that really don't have a, a physical form. Uh, they rely on other worlds to create the physical forms and the thought forms that they are so good at getting people to believe. I mean, Archonic forces make you think that there's a reality when there isn't a reality. and this is a prime example. You think that this is the only reality, or we're made to think that this is the only reality, uh, that this is all that there is. And that is the illusion that these, uh, these beings are creating on a grand scale. And the idea is, is, is that frequency is coming from Saturn, um, old father town, Kronos, the old sun, the black sun, because the Earth used to actually rotate go around um, they say the the black sun there was actually two suns and Saturn is what's left over of um, the particular sun that we're talking about here that it, Satanism is Saturnism and uh, there's a lot of emblems and a lot of um, let's say sigils, sigils which are based on Saturn and there's quite a lot of research being done by David Icke on Saturn and it is a very 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 interesting concept but here is an example of a holographic world we're in one it feels real like my fingers are cold this morning but I know it's just fake it's just a fake reality like there's a fake sun over there breaking through fake clouds there's fake birds flying by they're a consciousness um, everything is consciousness but it's how our brain interprets these signals that is being tampered with and uh, yeah it is a fake reality so I'm still questioning whether it's worth 
really abiding by any rules whatsoever, even the rules of, of self, rules of spirit, rules of soul. I mean, where is it getting us in a, in a fake world? Are we, are we in here to learn? Is it a learning curve? Is it all about college of life? Or are we just basically had our, our entire evolution tampered with and we're in something that's fake? If it is something that's fake, and it's meaningless, and it is just um, a food source for, for a predator, then what is the point of anything on this world? That is a question that uh, I am asking um, at the moment. I'm putting it out to the universe. I'm trying to tap into my starfire. Starfire being um, the essence of uh, the first creation or the creator that is within us all. But you've got to remember when you do any spiritual journeying or you're doing any work on self, you go within. You don't go out there. Out there is in here. That Well, that's the storyline. If this is a hologram as uh, it is professed, then everything of the hologram is within our consciousness. Therefore, all the answers lie within ourselves. Um, there's a lot of journeying being done by this particular consciousness or this particular essence of consciousness. I've done a lot of journeys over the years, um, a lot of investigations, a lot of poetry, and uh, inner journeys that I started doing again. Um, I'm looking for all these answers. And the idea is, is I primarily want to provide these answers for you guys. I want to see what I find on my journeys and start giving you guys some answers or inspirations so um, I'm gonna leave this video here with a fantastic sunrise and I just want to uh, take some pictures of this uh, imaginary sunrise with an imaginary camera and this is Matthew James signing out from your past in my present I'm looking to your future you are my witnesses I'm Matthew James and I speak to everybody soon enjoy your day